in the world of microservices where services are scaled up and down dynamically spring cloud eureka server provides a mechanism to discover these services we earlier saw the demo on spring cloud netflix eureka server the spring cloud netflix eureka service it apps register with the eureka server upon startup this way the consuming clients have to just go to one place the eureka server to get a list of all services and their addresses it is equally important that eureka server knows about the health of these services so that it only sends requests to services which are up and healthy in this video we will first review the spring cloud eureka server and service we had built earlier in my videos spring cloud service discovery netflix eureka server and spring cloud service discovery netflix eureka service the eureka service sends a heartbeat to the eureka server every 30 seconds to let it know that it's still alive however it may be so that it is barely alive and is having performance problems or does not have access to crucial resources like database access or file access which are important for it to function properly we will see how to send the custom health information also along with the heartbeat to the eureka server we will create a custom health indicator say our service needs access to a file system folder for it to work properly we will create a custom health check for that then we will remove the folder access and see how the service then indicates to the eureka server that it is down all right here are the two spring boot projects i had built earlier in my videos spring cloud service discovery netflix eureka server and spring cloud service discovery netflix eureka service please watch them to get up to speed let us start the eureka server first okay it starts up on port 8761 let us go to the browser and type http localhost 8761 the eureka server provides a nice dashboard right now there is no service registered next let's open the application or properties file for the eureka service where we see the application name eureka service with which it will register with the eureka server at the eureka server address let's start the service now let's go back to the browser and refresh and we see our eureka service registered here with the status as up in the pom file we have the actuator dependency which exposes a lot of useful endpoints like health env etc So let's go to the browser and access the health endpoint for our service at localhost 8081 where the service is listening followed by actuator and then health it just gives us a brief cryptic status of up with no details that is because the health endpoint is sensitive and can be opened up to certain roles or for our demo purpose we will open up to anyone so going back to the application dot properties file let's add a property management dot endpoint dot health dot show half and details as always the default value is none let's restart the service and now when we go back to the browser and refresh we see a lot more details about the health of the service next let's add a custom health check so let's go to the controller package right click and create a new class call it custom health indicator mark it as a component have it implement the health indicator interface let's fix the imports let us add the unimplemented method for the health indicator interface let me paste some code here and i will explain the lines to you first let's fix the imports So here we are first accessing a folder which is say crucial for the health of our application and then printing the files in there if all goes well with the access we return health.up.build if there is a problem accessing the folder or reading files then we print the error stack and return back a down health with details as file access as no or n now to have the eureka service send the health info along with the heartbeat let us add another property which is eureka.client.healthcheck.enable to true all right let's restart the service 
Go back to the browser, refresh the actuator health page and now we see this additional custom health check we added with the status as up as the folder is accessible. Eureka server also reports the service as up. Here we can see the files it reads in the folder. Now let's make the service down by changing the folder to a non-existent folder. Let's restart the service. Refresh the Eureka server page and now we see that the service status is correctly sent by the service as down. Clicking the actuator help endpoint for the service, we see that it reports it as down since our custom check is down with the file access as n. So we saw how to configure our Eureka service to send the health status to the Eureka server. Thanks for watching.